The attachments that I recommend for you to be using on the ARs, and this could work for all of them, is for the optic, I recommend the Axial Arms 3X. For the muzzle, I recommend the Muzzle Break 5.56. For the barrel, I recommend the 13.7 inch takedown. For the body, I recommend the Tiger Team Spotlight. For the underbarrel, the SFOD Speed Grip. For the magazine, the 40 RD. For the handle, Airborne Elastic Wrap. And for the stock, the SAS Combat Stock. Now, these are probably not the best attachments you can use. You can have different preferences to make them better, but I will also have down in the description attachments for every single AR that I recommend for you to be using. And also on top of that, there will be timestamps for different parts of the video. Before we continue on to the little strategies that I recommend for you to be using, be sure to subscribe. We are literally 10 and I'm not even exaggerating as of the time I'm recording this. We're 10 subscribers off of 13,000. So thank you all so much. You've been all really, really, really helpful recently, but not to make this video any much longer. Let's get right into the strats. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is quickly showing you a few strategies that I kind of recommend for you to train in or do your camo challenges at. And the first one I'm going to show you is actually here at the open lot. And essentially what you do here is, I think everyone like one zombie left. Oh no, okay. Um, <laughs> what you do here is train zombies. It's actually not that difficult, but it can be kind of uh, difficult sometimes, I guess. I, I know I just said the same word twice, but you can pull out a... Um, a ring of fire if you get sticky in situations and things like that i will show you better gameplay later of what i do over here and actually the second strategy is just up here if you run up right over here and at the opc if you stand up here you'll be able to shoot zombies that are running up and get i think good enough critical shots but the only issue with this is that like the guns aren't as good so these are methods for like the ray k and obviously these weapons aren't that good and I don't even have this weapon pack a bunch yet but you see they break through and it's just a good area where a good amount of zombies will be building up so that's that's the second strategy and for the third strategy uh, you're going to have to have this door open and if you don't know how to open it it is basically the reactor in the data center that you need to turn on not this one if you turn on that reactor you will be able to have this door specifically open and keep that door closed so basically this is in the weapon lab and this is a really good high round strategy it does get very chaotic in here if you're playing high rounds obviously it's made for the reiki as well like it's more effective with the reiki but the only good thing about this strategy is there's a massive, and I mean a massive amount of buildup of zombies. Like their spawn rates in here are absolutely insane. You got zombies coming from there, you got zombies coming from outside. And the only bad thing about this is, as you can see, I, I, it's very, very difficult. So I, I'm not even going to stay in there. I might actually run back in with a ring of fire and show you a better example. And of course I kill myself. Oh, clutch. So basically, yeah, just stay in there. And you can you can go up for higher rounds uh, if you're planning to let's say not 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 stay on and and take ages to complete your camo challenges. Okay, this might actually kill me this time. Let me out. Okay. <laughs> and the last strategy. Oh, whoa, what the? F Did you see that? <laughs> And the last strategy is in spawn, right over here. And the good thing about spawn is it's a good amount of flat surface, so you can train zombies around this big three, tree. Uh, but you also have pack a punch, wonder fizz, which I can't use, and an armor person that I can actually use to upgrade the rarity of my gun. And the good thing about this is obviously you will be able to uh, have really good access if you let's say go down and another good thing is that the teddy bears up here I'm not gonna go there yet, but uh, yeah, so basically those are the locations uh, I know that one of those situations didn't go very well. Just let's not talk about it uh, But yeah, another good thing you can do with the weapons is something I forgot to mention at the beginning is you don't have to do all the ARs For example, I recommend skipping the FFAR because it's an actually bad AR so You don't have to use it if you don't want to but without further ado, let's get right into just the camel guide voiceover, and I'll see you literally now. Now I want to quickly go over some of the specific camels themselves. Obviously, I'll be going over every single one, but I'll be briefing over the easier ones since they are practically very simple and understandable to get. For grunge, obviously, this one just requires you to get 2,500 kills, and on Firebase Z, this won't be that difficult. Basically, just use the weapon, obviously, and um, there's not much more to say. For liquid, it is 2,500 critical kills, and if you use the strategies that I showed you, every single one of them can be really good for critical kills. For example, the one on top of the stairs could be better, or the ones where you 
you're on flat land this also depends on the preference of you as a player but on top of this make sure you're using deadshot daiquiri and if you're on controller be sure to abuse the hell out of aim in and aim out because you have aim assist but if you're on pc definitely be on flat surfaces which will make your life so much more easier and deadshot daiquiri of course aims on the critical shot for brush stroke you need 2500 pack a punch kills similar to the 2500 if you simply just run around the map and turn on the generators really fast you can get the pack a punch very easily you could also if you maybe potentially want go on the machine and do this challenge faster i guess in some way but you're better off doing it just turning on the generators and getting that very easily for vintage you need 15 elite kills and obviously now after treyarch has decided to patch the camo challenges in firebase z this challenge is extremely easy but i will recommend for you to use either brain rot which is basically the turned ability or blast furnace or is it napalm blast now and this will improve your damage on the mimics and also the manglers so brain rot is really good for mimics and then blast furnace is really good for russian manglers so kind of choose which one you want this will be taking away some of your actual critical kills and things like that it's definitely a good thing to do because you'll then only have to use that in let's say like one game real quick and just get those elite kills and get that out of the way to progress with the other camo challenges so it's not that bad for fauna it's 10 kills rapidly 10 times this one isn't that difficult if you just build them up and you can get this very easily if you train them around where i showed you you could get this challenge up very fast especially if you have let's say an insta kill this will be a very simple and easy challenge for topography which is get three or more critical hit kills rapidly with a certain weapon this one is also very easy if you're going for the critical kills you'll just get this one if you train them if you do any strategy for this it will be very easy to obtain and for the last one infection get 20 or more consecutive kills with the certain weapon 10 times i recommend from the start being extremely cautious about the zombies keeping your distance and since these are ars you will be able to shoot them from fairly far and reasonable distances and you will be able to get this very easily obviously abuse let's say your ring of fire or also insta kills you'll be able to get this super fast and easily done that's going to be it for the video i was trying to make it as fast as possible and as clear as possible for you to understand on how to do these challenges firebase z has definitely improved and kind of made everything much easier than it was on the machina so if you're starting off now or you still have to do these weapons this won't be that difficult i'll also link down a video in the description of how to level up your weapons really fast so if you maybe want to check that out but that's going to be it guys hope you enjoyed i will be making more of these on every single weapon class really fast and try to explain to you as i feel like firebase z could have just updated on some things so i decided to make new videos on it be sure to subscribe like and i'll see you in the next one peace out